Hello guys and girls, Screezilla here and I hope you're all well and you join me on another operation. Now this is the new operation for the latest patch uh, where we have to escort a French battleship carrying gold to America. A thunderstorm was detected so we have to do all thunderstorms. Um, it means there is less range for spotting, it makes everything a lot harder. Um, and there are some serious ships to fight. Now we are taking out the Lyon. Uh, the French tier 6, I think, tier 6 battleship, um, and we have to escort the Richelieu, Richelieu uh, which is the tier 7 battleship, or tier 8. I do, yeah, tier 8, I think, so this is the tier 7. I always get my tiers mixed up. Anyway, we have some serious ships to deal with. Um, and we have a thunderstorm to deal with, and we've got lots of gold. Now, this... sort of, um... operation is a very interesting one, because it's a bit of a tricky one, uh, for first of all, because, you know, you've got to keep your escort ship alive. Escorting is always fun. Um, but also there are some serious ships you're fighting against. You'd bet you're only fighting against German ships in this match. Um, however, I think it's only... You're not able to use German ships in this match. So you, you can only use the Allied ships, or, well, the Vichy, the, the, the non-Vichy French ships, so the free French ships. Um, so you, you can only use the French, the British, and Americans in this match. Which does kind of work in your favour because there's a lot of planes to deal with. Um, there are quite a lot of aircraft that you do need to deal with in this matchup. Uh, so you do need to be a bit careful in that respect. Now the enemy um, Nuremberg over there and there's also a Mars. Um, so we've got some ships over there and as you can see our view range is a little bit nerfed at the moment because of this storm. So it really does make things a little bit tricky. Now, as I say, um, French battleships have been released as well, which is awesome news. If you did manage to unlock any of the French ships with the missions available, you keep them. And they're unlocked in your regular tech tree, which is something that surprised me. Um, because I was expecting them to be sort of... Maybe like a premium version or something like that, just a sort of special version, and you still have to unlock the regular tech tree variants, or you just have to unlock the regular tech tree, and then when you get there, you you sort of, you could still use the ships, say, but you sort of you didn't get the next ship in line unlocked. And what's happened is you've actually you can unlock the next ship in line. So the Rochelle, I can actually unlock because I have the Leon. So that's really good news. That's that's sort of made my life easier for the French grind. I don't have to go through all the, the low-tier battleships and stuff like that if I want to grind the French battleships. Um, you know, I can pretty much just start at tier, sort of, tier 7. Now we've got some torpedoes coming in at us, and it looks like our escort ship's about to eat one on the bow. Yep. And this is always the problematic thing of escorting a ship, is you have to deal with torpedoes. And there are lots and lots of destroyers in this matchup. So there is a spot later on where there is just a ridiculous amount of torpedoes. Um, I'm glad I didn't sail in one direction. That's all I've got to say. So this operation it, it is really actually quite fun. Um, I really like the operations mode. I, they're probably my favorite parts of World of Warships now. And it's just such a fun, unique gameplay experience, because it is PvE, um, over that PvP aspect of the game, which many people will be like, oh yeah, but I prefer to PvP, you know, that's fair enough, you know, if you want a PvP, you know, that's absolutely fine, you know, I've got no issue with that, I do enjoy a bit of PvP now and again as well, but... I also like having the option of a PvE game, because... You know, it's just interesting, it's something different, you know, I, I just get tired of the same old, same old all the time. You know, it just... 
it, it's just the same old gameplay every single game. It's so boring, and at least it's not a horde mode for the PvE as well, because that's something that just drives me crazy, is just wave after wave of attacks, which, you know, just really adds nothing to the game. Whereas this mode, you know, you've got something that's really different and a really interesting game concept. Now, I'm interested in this. The German battleships have appeared. Oh my lord, we've got a lot of German battleships there. We've got a Gneisenau, Scharnhorst, Bismarck, and the Tirpitz there. Luckily, it looks like the majority of the guns are not facing towards me, so I can get a good broadside off. Um, now, one of the downsides of the Leon uh, is it does have a relatively low caliber uh, main armament, which means that you do struggle to give those, you know, all... 16 guns, you know, a chance to absolutely punish a broadside battleship, but cruisers will absolutely get a whacking from you. Uh, we've got a nice shot on this Tirpitz, now it did just slow down slightly before we got him off, but we will hit the bow. So, we've got some good hits there, all in all. Uh, a couple of um, over-penetrations by the look of it, because we did just go straight through the bow armour. Uh, Bismarck is looking like a juicy target. Of course, it is a bit tricky at this angle to to go through the German battleships because they have got the turtleback armor uh, through the side. So we sort of have to plunging shot. This would be good, but we can't really do that at this range. We fire off a full broadside. And it looks like we've got a few nice hits there. So we got five main hits there, which was really nice and really boosted up the old damage count as well. In this game mode, though, in this operation, I would probably recommend... You, you want to have a few battleships in this mode, for sure. You want to have some good, heavily armed battleships. You, you really do need them in this mode um, to deal with these broadside battleships. But also, you kind of want to have the... Um, very nice hit on that nice now. Um, you'll also want to have some very good cruisers, and I think we were very lucky in this match in the fact that we had two um, uh, two Atlantas with us, and also a Pensacola. Uh, but the Atlantas and the Pensacola are very useful in the fact that they've got the defensive fire, they've got very good triple A support, and we'll see soon that that's going to be needed, uh, because we will get attacked by some planes. Now, I uh, wait for the Shan horse to come round, fire another broadside off, go for the front of the ship, an okay salvo, not the greatest, an okay sort of salvo there. So, looks like we've got some anti-aircraft needed. Now I've sort of gone slightly to the wrong side of this island um, by, while fighting these battleships. Um, it's one of the things, this was my first time playing this operation as well, so I wasn't completely sure what I was doing. Fire off our salvo, and it's dead before we shoot, so it's a shame. We missed out on some nice shots there. That's okay, though. We'll just keep pootling around. Got this Atlanta to our left of us, which is nice. We've got some good AA coverage. Now, I'm pondering taking out, seeing if I can take out the Indianapolis as well, because I reckon that would do very well in this operation. Um, but being that everything's so close as well, the Atlanta really works well because you want to have that sort of close fire support and the Atlanta is very good at close range so as I say I think the Atlanta is your best option for this um, for this operation all in all uh, but we still need the battleships as well you know it's always important so we're going to go around this island now and see what we can find. So uh, we've got to destroy another sort of 23, uh, 22 aircraft, destroy one more battleship and we need our allied ships to survive, at least three of them. And of course make sure that the Rio, that, uh, Ruan does not lose more than 50% of her hit points. And escort it to safety of course. Now there is a repair zone here that's useful if you have taken some damage. Luckily I've not taken a scratch in this game so far. So, no need for that at the moment. But it is a useful thing for uh, anyone that has taken a bit of a beating. Uh, with those four German battleships appearing 
uh, where they did, that could really cause some damage to you if they start firing at you as well. And for some reason my camouflage uh, got de-equipped from this ship as well. Normally I would have it camouflaged up, but it didn't get done. Now I'm in a bit of a awkward spot now because there's a lot of destroyers that have just appeared quite close by as well as a Bayern as well. Um, the Bayern there is uh, going to be a bit problematic if it fires a salvo at me. I mean, I'm not in the best position. Now I fire off my broadside and hope to get some damage on that ship. We get a couple of hits. We don't do too much though. Um, not great, but our secondaries are going to start opening up on these destroyers. But we are in a very dangerous spot right now. We are basically going to get torpedoed. Um, we can start turning in on them a bit more. But you have to remember we're also escorting our friendlies. And to our left-hand side, we've got our friendly battleship that uh, is about to get smothered by torpedoes. Um, so what we do here is we start turning in, but we take a couple of hits so the friendly battleships don't get as many hits. Um, I was actually glancing back and because I just saw the Rochelle next to me, I thought it was the one I was escorting. Um, but luckily enough, it was actually just one of the players, so not too bad. You can afford to take a couple of torpedo hits in these uh, battleships. You know, it's not going to cause too much damage. Uh, as long as you don't, you know, get detonated or something, you're pretty much going to be fine. So we take a couple of torpedo hits. You know, it keeps the rest of the uh, group safe as well. It, it's sort of something you have to do in this mode, is you, you can't just sort of... While playing a battleship in these operations, you've got to play as a tank. Um, if you've ever played an MMO and you know about tanking, then that's sort of what your goal is. You you need to use those hit points to your advantage and actually take hits and absorb them so the cruisers aren't getting damaged uh, because the cruisers will go down very quickly in this mode. So you've really got to be careful and really got to make sure that you can um, that you can keep them safe, basically. So we've got the enemy aircraft coming in. Now, these are from the... Um, uh, do, 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 the Graf Zeppelin um, I always said Graf Spey there uh, Graf Zeppelin, the uh, German aircraft carrier and that thing has some very very nasty armour piercing bombs so really want to make sure that you take out all of these planes so you've really got to do a lot of work to keep the planes down because they could really do some damage um, there's something like about a hundred planes in this operation as well, so you need that anti-air support. You need to keep close, in a close formation in this match as well, and that's another big thing for this, um, for this operation, is don't go spreading out. Because if you spread out, you're going to have problems. You're going to have a bad day, basically. You need to keep, uh, you need to keep at least one AAA, uh, um, cruiser really close to your escorting um, Richelle there because otherwise it, it can go very quickly towards a loss you know you can really snatch the uh, loss from the jaws of defeat so we've got the Graf Spey and we've got a, a Admiral Hipper there as well so we're doing good we, we, we've done all our secondaries so far we just need to find this drafted rough zeppelin um, which can be quite hard actually in this uh, environment because of the storm we have limited visibility so we really need to try and spot it soon and this can be where breaking from the fleet is kind of important but as you will see in a moment you've got to be careful as well because there are a lot of enemy destroyers. And there is the Graf Zeppelin. Okay, we've spotted it. Now, as you can see, on the other side of its island, there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of enemy destroyers. We fire a salvo off at the Zeppelin. And I'm thinking about going through this gap, but for some reason I just think better of it. I think, no, I'm actually not going to do this. I'm just going to turn around the island because I saw all the uh, destroyers coming in. And then, holy mother of torpedoes. 
Let's just uh, look to the left there a little bit. Yeah, that's a lot of torpedoes. That is a lot of torpedoes there. I, I really did. Uh, I, I was glad I didn't go through that gap, basically. Uh, we fire off a salvo at the Z-23 there. Uh, we get an over-penetration, but our secondaries are going to start lighting them up. We've really got to try and grill that... Grill? Deal with that Graf Zeppelin now. Uh, try and take it out and kill it. Um, yeah, I was kind of glad I didn't go for that gap, because, as I said, originally I was going to sail through that gap, and if I had, I wouldn't have survived that many torpedoes. Um, yeah. So, so watch out for that gap in future. So... We fire off a few salvos. They're not the greatest salvos in the world. We are over penetrating a bit. Um, I was trying to get the speed right on this this ship. It's first time I actually encountered the Zeppelin as well. Uh, I've not seen it in game yet. It, it, it was the premium, of course, and then it was taken off of the um, server due to it being absolutely terrible. Um, and it has been repaired and rebuilt to work a little bit better. Um, with its uh, AP bombs and stuff like that. So we get a few good hits here. Um, we managed to take out a plane as well, which is nice. Uh, but that Graf Zeppelin is not looking healthy, and down she goes. The uh, Rionda has actually started to make out of the area, so we now just have to protect it while it gets out. So we just have to kill these remaining ships. And we are pretty much done for this operation. Things are looking good all in all. So we come to the edge here. We've just got this Graf Spade to kill. We get a nice Citadel. Everything is looking good. And we have got a victory. So let's head to the post-battle results now. Okay, so let's see how we did in this battle. So post-battle results, we... Uh, five star this which is always nice so for the first star we get a single container for the second star two containers for three stars we get 50 doubloons for four stars we get 100 doubloons and for five stars we get 150 doubloons so what we earned uh 200 doubloons from that which is always nice as well as a few trophies okay let's just close this up and let's look see how we did in our post battle results so almost a uh, hundred thousand damage done just a little bit shy, not too bad. Um, received 157,000 uh, 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 credits, whatever they're calling them. Um, some good levels of experience. Uh, the Sea Star, uh, complete the operation and all secondary tasks, survive till the end of the battle and cause damage exceeding 100% of your ship's HP. And also the Tactical Expert, uh, successfully complete an operation uh, by completing all second tasks, all players must survive. So we all survived that, which is always nice. Uh, we also earned a little bit more for our French edition. Um, let's have a look at the team score. So we finished dead last. Um, it wasn't the best performance by me, <laughs> uh, in all honesty. I, there, there were a few better players in that game, I think. Uh, I honestly think the Atlanta is probably your best bet for taking out for this operation, just because of those planes and stuff. You know, they sh that guy shot these two shot down 58 and 84 aircraft. That's a lot of planes to shoot down. Um, the Algeria may be okay because it's got pretty decent AAA, but yeah, these two are going to be king. Uh, maybe the Indianapolis as well. I'm not sure if you can take that out, but that might be a good option as well. Uh, so we did some nice damage to everybody, and as I say, credits and experience. We earned some good credits and experience. Um, we spent a little bit on... Uh, post battle but you know we we made a good tidy little profit from that and we made quite a lot of free experience and general experience so let's head back to port so the french battleships as i said are out um so they've finally been released uh, in this uh in this uh patch which is nice um interestingly enough though what i did find out uh, sort of may have mentioned it just before. Now I'm report recording this before I've actually recorded the video so I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about but you can see here that uh, because I unlocked the Bretagne and the Leon I can actually unlock the Richelle and the Normandy and I can avoid going through the grind of a uh, uh, Touraine, the Cabert. So 
yeah, it's kind of interesting with that. Um, so we can finally see all the ships in their glory. Uh, the Rochelle looks like a beautiful ship. It's a very similar ship to the... Um, uh, do, 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 French battleship that's ooh, escaping my name, the premium French battleship, uh, just with those front guns. The, the It's not the Normandy, it's the... Uh, I can't remember, my brain's gone dead. Uh, but you've got very front heavy guns, but also the secondaries are very good on this ship. Uh, it's 7 kilometer range for the secondaries. So, yeah, you've got some good secondary armament. So this ship is will work for a secondary focused uh, build. The Acer just tier 9, again a gorgeous looking ship um, very heavily armed as well um, good artillery on it, the 380mm guns uh, which are very common with the French ships and then finally we have Republic, uh, which has the 431mm guns and this thing does look absolutely beastly but it does only have 8 guns so not sure how well it will perform in that top tier role. Um, the 340mm guns will be very useful, but it, it sort of it is lacking a little bit of gun department. Interestingly enough, though, it does have a helicopter pad, so uh, it would be kind of cool if you got helicopter scout vehicles <laughs> at some stage. It would be nice to see those coming in. Um, but yeah, it is a very pretty ship. Uh, also, the secondaries have a very good range on them as well. Um, so again, a secondary focus may work relatively well with this ship. Uh, but we will talk more about that in a future episode, I'm sure. Anyway, that was Operation Hermes. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, give me a like and a comment and all those usual things. And before we go, let's just go and open up some containers. So, uh, we've got the containers and they are... Ooh, actually they are the French, the special containers I think, so uh, they're not just the standard containers, so we get the specialist container, uh, the, um, the operation containers, the Viva la France containers, so let's open them up, let's see what we get. So we've got a duplicate of the uh, coat of arms of Normandy, uh, we got Papa Papa sh shags, flags, and we also got some more of the revolutionary paint, let's open up the next one see what we get. So we get a photo of the Kaber near uh, Cherbourg, uh, we get some Juliette Charlie, and we get some Revolutionary. And let's open up our last container. And we get a photo of the Agiel in Marseille. Uh, we get some Papa Papa, and we get some more paint. So that's quite useful. So yeah, that's actually quite handy, actually, all in all, because that means I am one step closer to opening up the 10-point French captain. So let's just see how we're doing in that regard. So we've got one photo left to go. Uh, unfortunately, we're, we're one shy of buying that. Um, two coat of arms, but we've got all of these. So yeah, so we're almost there. So hopefully we will get the coat of arms or this photo or a duplicate so I can actually purchase this and get some uh, more paint and things like that but hopefully we will have Jean-Jacques Henri soon for our ships which will be nice. Okay guys well until next time this is me Screezler out have a lovely day and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye!